So let's make a fatty cup of tea. All right, first of all, let's get the kettle on. I bought this cup when I was in New York. I love this cup. So pick a, I always use thermal cups because my tea stays hot longer or, or coffee. So this is my tea drawer, the middle drawer. It's my drawer. So um, I've got decaf tea, chai, decaf, and more decaf tea and more chai. And that's not decaf. That's Yorkshire blend. That's delicious. So I'm just, I was going to go Earl Grey, but I'm going to go Lady Grey. Lady Grey's amazing. So let's do that. Get a Lady Grey. Let's make our cup of tea uh, and let that steep. Nice boiling hot water. It's quite chilly here this morning. So I'm feeling warm just looking at all that steam. <laughs> Awesome. Now let's go to the kitchen and get our fat, our good fats. All right. Whatever blender you have, awesome. I've got the Nutribullet. Look, I've, I've, oh, and these are the fats. So these are my little egg yolks. Three of them is one egg yolk, believe it or not. And I've got my hot cup of tea steeping and that is my Wagyu whipped tallow. There's a video on that on the channel. So I found putting a whole egg yolk in here. I'm just getting two teaspoons of Wagyu, whipped Wagyu tallow. Just filling that up, it's two teaspoons worth. I could put a bit more, I think, but it's certainly delicious. I'm drinking it right now. I found that a whole egg yolk left, um, the aftertaste was there was a little bit of astringency, I think is the best way to describe it. So I played around with my chocolate moulds um, and I put some egg yolk in a bag and squeeze it into chocolate moulds and froze it. That's what they are. That's what these are here. And so three of those equals one egg yolk. So you can see this is one third of an egg yolk. I'm only using one. So I'll show you that. I'm just going to use one. So that's one third of an egg yolk. And two teaspoons of whipped tallow is in there and then I'm that's it there and then I'm going to add my hot cup of tea once I get rid of the tea bag so I might tomorrow I might add more tallow and see if that one third of an egg yolk is still enough to emulsify the water and the fat together I'm hopeful I'm hopeful. I might try three teaspoons of fat. That's 15 grams. That's beautiful. And it whips up so nice. And it doesn't have all those soapy bubbles on top, which it can happen with egg white. Um, but that's it there. Oh, just takes me a minute to get the... It is hot. It does sort of shrink in a little, the seal. So you do have to be careful when you're opening that up and here we go in all of its deliciousness Yum. Yeah. 